Hi, good afternoon, and TGIF. Thank you for joining us for a special episode of Family Live. My name is Mary Love Alex, Head of Marketing and Product Development, and I will be your moderator this afternoon. It's an incredibly tough time, and we hope that you are keeping safe and being smart by staying at home. So we have some viewers that would like to say hello to. I would like to say hello to Marge, Yana, Mitch, Raymar, Agibel, John Ryan, and who else? Um, Bell and JM. Okay, since we are spending a lot more time in our homes, it presents us with an opportunity to learn new skills. So the world may be on a standstill, but that doesn't mean our brains should be. So today we are going to discuss how you can reinvent yourself, learn, improve, and pivot. And before this program ends, our speaker will teach us a special technique on how to heal from all this emotional and physical pain. So allow me to introduce to you our speaker, a U.S. Certified Neuro Linguistic Programming Practitioner, a U.S. Certified Success and Life Coach, Emotional Freedom Technique Practitioner, and a Training and Development Consultant. She has worked for 25 years with five different airlines, both international and local, as a flight attendant and flight instructor before she made the transition to the HR setting. She is also a member of the International Board of Coaches and Practitioners, Association of Image Consultants, International Philippines Advocates of Consultants and Trainers, and a partner of Arriva Speaker Bureau. To all our viewers, let us all welcome Coach Suzette C. Shapno. The floor is yours, Suzette. <laughs> Hello everyone. How are you today? Thank you so much Fami for inviting me to uh, share with you my story and inspire everyone to reinvent themselves, especially during this pandemic. So we welcome everyone to this webinar. Because you can see here there are a lot of big words in our topic for today. Before we dive into it, I just want to welcome those who just checked in, let me just check my Facebook page. Okay, so I can see Happy, Mitch, hello, Yang is here, hello. And there's Heaven Knows here, hello everyone. 
I would like to ask you guys in the, the, the words that you see on our slide, which has the most impact or which excites you the most? Okay, can you type it? What, what, what word excites you the most? Ano yung napapa-excite sa inyo dito sa mga words na ito? Okay? Okay. For some reason, I'm not seeing the, the words that you're putting in. But for those of you who write learn, improve, and pivot, lahat naman yan, we need it when we are to reinvent ourselves. It's a must, di ba? Kailangan natin lahat yan, especially during this time. For those of you who wrote reinventing and yourself, that's a good thing as well. Because now more than ever, you have to focus on yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. Now, let me share with you that this live webinar is for you if you want to know what it takes to reinvent yourself. And if you are brave enough to, say, to face the challenges that goes with it. And of course, if you are willing to take action to achieve it. Because if not, it's going to be hard for everyone to, do, to go on to your reinvention journey. Now, in this webinar, what's in store for you? First, you will enjoy the benefits of reinventing yourself. You will know the benefits. And then, of course, you'll be given a kickstart plan on your reinvention. And of course, the five challenges that you will be facing when you go on to your reinvention journey. And last but not the least, there would be the ninth step, uh, reinventing yourself guideline. And of course, one more thing, before the webinar ends, I'll be giving you an emotional freedom technique that can guide you through your reinvention journey. Of course, there would be challenges, there would be anxiety, there will be stress, and this effect, uh, emotional freedom technique will really help you out. So hanggang sa dulo, magkasama tayo, okay? So let us first understand how COVID-19 affects us, okay? How does it affect us? First and foremost, every one of us, we're feeling isolated. Tama? Mm -hmm. Feeling natin, feeling, feeling natin, di ba? Um, isolated tayo. Even though we're surrounded by friends in the house or for example, family, may, may pakiramdam pa rin tayo na detached tayo sa mga nangyayari sa mundo. And what? It has been two and a half months already na, na nandito lang tayo sa bahay natin pareho. So, it's looming in each and every one of us that feeling of isolation. What else? There's a feeling also of confusion. We are confused kung kanino ba tayo maniniwala sa gobyerno, uh, paano natin, sino sa kanila paniniwalaan natin. Even our doctors, hindi, they're, they're even at a loss right now. Iba sa kanila, uh, affected din ng COVID at sa kasamaang palad, yung iba pumanaw na rin, you know, just because of they're the frontliners and helping everyone out to battle COVID-19. So, there's a lot of confusion going on right now. What else? Uncertainty. We are, uh, the, the future is really very uncertain. Kaya mismong tayo rin, uncertain din tayo. What are we going to do? What are our next steps? Dun sa mga nawala ng trabaho, uh, I have friends who uh, lost their job because of COVID-19. It's really full of uncertainty. At paano sila magsisimula ulit? Huh? Even kayo, kung may mga pagbabago sa, sa kumpanya ninyo that you needed that shift or kailangan nyo mag-adjust, still that feeling of uncertainty is there. What else? Budget, ladies and gentlemen. Iba ngayon talagang tightening of the belt tayo. If before, it's easy for us to buy a cup of Starbucks coffee. Ngayon, medyo pag-iisipan na natin yan. Kasi nga, we're on a tight budget. We want to hold on to what we have. We want to invest. We want to have our money really grow. Kasi pinaghirapan natin yan eh. So I just want to share with you a study. It says here, studies have linked financial distress to poor mental health. And the more you stress about money, the harder it may be to manage your psychological well-being and vice versa. So we do not want that to happen. 
And that's the beauty of having mutual funds around us. Uh, this time, they're considered uh, panic healers. Panic healers, bakit? Kasi di ba yung kampante ka, na alam mo na yung pera mo ay nag-grow, hindi na sasayang. Maganda kung nakapag-invest tayo nun. Just a quick run-through on the features and benefits of having a mutual fund. First, it's professionally managed. So, hindi mo takot na parang, uy, fly by night ba to? Madali nga lumaki pera ko, pero are they certified? Diba? So, ang mga mutual fund uh, companies natin, just like family, they are. So, sila yung makakatulong sa atin. What else? Good diversification. Sa so, pinag-aaralan yan kung aling aling company ang maganda natin i-invest ang pera natin. Oh, oh, oh. So, it has high liquidity. You can buy and sell shares anytime. And of course, it's safe also. Bakit? Kasi regulated siya by SEC. We also have daily pricing monitoring. We have voting rights. So, as stakeholders, you're considered owners of the company. So, ibig sabihin yan, uh, pagka merong uh, fund annual, get together or meeting or conferences, nandun kayo para bumoto. You can vote. And of course, potential high returns. These are just some of the features and benefits of having your funds invested in mutual funds. And FAMI is always there to support you. Now, to go back to our topic, why did I mention that? Because really financial distress is next to health is one of the things that stresses us right now. Ngayon, iba-iba ang dating ng COVID-19, ang effect ng COVID-19 sa atin. Some of us might strive and thrive, but some of us might feel depleted, ubus na, pagod na, hindi na kaya na mag-move on. So two ways COVID-19 can affect us or uh, is affecting us right now. And ano yung resulta dito? Diba? The result here is that we experience what? Chronic fatigue, stress, anxiety. <laughs> Lahat yan nararamdaman natin. Do you agree with me? Okay, type in yes if you agree with me. And dami nating negative thought process because of what's happening. Overthinking negative thoughts. Yeah, so sabi dito, yes, agree ma'am, agree. Insecurities, regrets, bad memories, we have guilt. There's disappointment and frustration. And we do not want these things to happen because you know how negativity affects you. Let me share with you my story. I always share this because this is exactly what negativity uh, does to your body. So this is my crashing mobile phone story. I, was, uh, I had I just finished meeting a client and the, the result was positive. So I was so overwhelmed, excited to go home and share the good news. So I entered the car. Oh, yung grab car pa noon. Sa, uh, nakasakay ako doon. And then when I closed the door, ayaw, hindi sumara. And then I closed it again. And then I closed it several times. Ayaw pa din. Until the driver told me, Ma'am, can you please check? I think may nakaharang po. To my surprise, nakaharang nga yung blazer ko. But I was thinking, Okay, so pwede hindi siya nagsasara. E cloth lang naman. Lo and behold, nandun yung telepono ko sa aking pocket ala. And that's what's hindering the closing of the door. So I grabbed my phone, looked at it. Andun pa yung mga unang text messages. Nandun pa eh. Pero unti-unti siyang nawawala, ladies and gentlemen. no? Unti-unti siyang nauubos. Kung nakikita niyo yung picture sa left side, that's how it looked like. And it's been depleted slowly. No matter what I do, I try to revive it. Wala hanggat sa namatay na siya. So this is what's the what's happening to our body and to our mind when we are full of negativity, stress, fear, and anxiety. And of course, I don't want that to happen to you. So let's be inspired by what Dr. Sue said. He said, when something bad happens, you have three choices. You can let it define you, you can let it destroy you, or you can let it strengthen you. And of course, I recommend the latter. It should strengthen you. And I would like you also to be inspired by Andy Grove, who is the chairman of Intel. 
kung uh, naalala nyo po, ang Intel ay nakikita natin. Saan ba natin usually nakikita ang Intel? Type it in. Saan natin nakikita yan? Usually. Usually it's in our computers. May maliit na sticker doon, di ba? Kasi they're in the business of microchips during the 80s. They are the seventh largest company in the world during the 80s. However, pinalo sila ng Japanese companies offering the same product. So, si Andy Grove ang responsible for turning everything around and succeeded in it. And he said, every company faces a critical point when it must change dramatically to rise to the next level of performance. Now, my question to you is, are we at a critical point right now? Do you think we are at a critical work right now? So, yes, Antonio says here, computer, medyo delayed lang ng konti yung paglabas ng inyong reactions. But please do type in your reactions because I will be reading them in a bit. CPU sa computer, tama. So, yes, I've said yes. We are at a critical point. Why? Number one, hindi natin nakikita yung kalaban natin. It's a virus. So, hindi natin alam kung kailan matatapos to. We don't have a vaccine yet. A lot of businesses are closing down. A lot of people are having negative thoughts, demotivated, you know, challenging time for us. And so, my question to you is, what's your dramatic change? Ano yung babaguhin mo para mabago mo? Or you, 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 you can pivot what's happening now around you. Okay? So a lot of establishments are pivoting. A lot of, of establishments are getting on to that next level. Kasi nga, just like you and me, alam natin na we are at that critical point. So these are images of supermarkets, groceries, establishments that are adapting to what's happening around us. Okay? Ito si Manang. <laughs> Oy, nasa wet market siya, pero nag adapt siya in her own little way. Gumawa siya ng paraan to observe social distancing. What else? In any building nowadays, if you want to, excuse me. So, if you want to enter any establishments, di ba, kailangan munang kunin yung temperature natin. So again, you are adapting, you are rising your performance to the next level. And these are the flight attendant uniforms of some of the airlines here in the Philippines. This one is Philippine Airlines. Drastic change because what do we normally see when we fly? Ano ba ang suit ng mga flight attendants natin? Diba? Ano yung suit nila? Most of the time, wala si, of course, wala silang mas exposed rin lahat. The beauty of the Philippines is always shining through. Kitang-kita natin. But now, ito nga, wala pang mask eh, di ba? Pero ito, dapat nakamask ka pa niyan. Balot na balot tayo because we want to be protected and ayaw natin makahawa. Again, they acknowledge that they are in that critical point. So they have to rise to the next level of performance. Another example would be here, Pande Americana. I was going to the grocery and plan to buy pandesal. And to my surprise, ganito, no, meron silang walkthrough. Very creative, very innovative. Wala man drive through yan or takot ka man pumasok. It's their way of saying na, hey, it's safe in, in uh, our store. So social distancing is taking it in effect. And of course, we also have our favorite foods now being made available in the grocery stores. We have Jollibee making their chicken joy available where? In the groceries, right? We have uh, restaurant closures, but how did they adapt? Nag-online na rin silang lahat. Again, we are indeed at a critical point and a lot of establishments are now rising to the next level of performance. Now, famous author Mireille Giliano of the book French Women Don't Get Fat said that just like established products and brands, we need to update ourselves. We need to stay alive. We need to be vibrant. Agree ba kayo doon? Siyempre, dapat hindi natin uh, papabayaan ang ating sarili. So, type in yes 
if you agree. Type in yes if you agree. Francis said, he also said, only the paranoid survive. I agree, Andy Grove said that as well. Paranoia, if you know how to use it, just like failures, will aid you in your journey to reinvention. So thank you, Francis. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, just type in your inputs and I'll be reading them later on. So going back, you need, just like brands, just like the products, you need to stay alive and vibrant. And also a famous comedian, his name is Greg Lopez, said that when things are bad, it's the best time to reinvent yourself. We Filipinos are, are like this. If you agree with me, later on I'll be showing you pictures to prove that is, this is very applicable to us. Okay? So I just want to show you a picture of people who reinvented themselves during this pandemic and perhaps you can be inspired by them. This is an, a Thai actor, a Sikacha sa Thailand, si Mr. Amp. Anong ginagawa niya ngayon? Uh, he's a delivery, grab delivery boy right now. And he has to do that in order to survive and for his family. Because uh, one of the industries that has been affected was, of course, uh, we know for a fact that ABS-CBN closed, diba? So, isa sa mga apektado talaga yung industry nila. So, yan, gumawa siya ng paraan. Who else is coping up? Here is, of course, Miss I.I. De Las Alas, who, is, who turned into baking then. And uh, madami, no? I can give a, a lot of examples. Now, what I, why, why am I sharing you these pictures? Because I want to inspire you to, to uh, go out of your shell and then go out of your comfort zone and see these this challenges as opportunities. Huwag tayong magsalt, huwag tayong malungkot na, okay, COVID-19 will stop all what I want to do or what I plan to do. And of course, this, this is me. Aside from being a speaker, trainer, coach, nagbebenta rin ako. I'm into sales. I'm selling. I'm selling um, PPEs. I'm say, selling face shields. I'm selling face masks. Protect COVID-19 protective equipment. Ganon talaga, eh, di ba? Kailangan mong maghanap ng pagkakakitaan, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Because I acknowledge this, this indeed is a critical point for me. Otherwise, if we just, you just uh, stick to one, to one, uh, to one thing, kakalimut, hindi mo naiisipin na, ay, kaya ko pala to. Meron pala akong skill sa ganito. Why, why not venture into that? So, ganyan lang ang kailangan natin gawin. Even now, if you want to greet your mother, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day sa lahat ng mothers. Belated Happy Mother's Day. Although we cannot see them, we can prepare videos for them. Chat online. Yan ang ginagawa natin. This is what we did for our mom last Mother's Day. So I hope you got inspired with the, some of the people that I showed you. Because really today or this time, it's important for us to reinvent ourselves in order to survive. So let me share with you my journey of reinvention. Now, before I share this, I want to let you know that I'm sharing this because I want this also for you. And I'm sure that it's possible only if you put the work, the work in it. Okay, so let's start. I start my uh, flying career as an international flight attendant when I was 19 years old. So batang bata pa ako noon. Um, Pero iniisip ko na talaga, gusto ko maging flight attendant. So during my elementary days up to high school, everything that I do is really geared towards becoming one. So I took care of myself. You know, I, I, I tried my best to learn English. So pag English na yung subject namin, talagang pinapakinggan ko yan. Kasi sabi nga nila, bago ka matanggap, dapat marunong ka mag-English. So lahat yan, nakaprogram sa akin. Because my, my goal is really clear. Ano ba yung gusto kong mangyari? So at 19, fortunately, I got accepted by Philippine Airlines. So I started my career as a domestic flight attendant back then. 
And of course, after eight years, gaya na nabanggit ko sa inyo, may mga challenges na nangyayari sa uh, journey natin through reinvention. And at that time, there there was a pilot strike and na layoff ako sa trabaho. So I had to look for a job and I became a medical representative. Again, another challenge for me here was that ang medical representative noon, just like being a flight attendant, ang iniisip dapat single ka, you should be single kasi you would be based kung saan-saan. But that didn't stop me. Ang motto ko kasi talaga, try and try until you succeed. It's a cliche, but it's true, right? So I tried my luck and they accepted me and I'm really thankful for that. But you know, along the way, I just felt that I missed flying and prayed every day na sana sana magbukas ulit ang pal, sana ulit matawag ako and all that. And because I was feeding it in my mind, it happened. So nagbukas ulit ang, ang Philippine Airlines and they called me back in. So total of eight years with Philippine Airlines. And then after that, inisip ko naman, gusto ko mag-travel internationally. I wanted to be an international flight attendant because when I got called back, Balik ako sa domestic kahit na nag-international flight attendant na ako for PAL. Binalik ako sa domestic because nga of pilot strike. So when I came back, balik domestic flying. Although it was fun, in-enjoy ko domestic flying. Of course, may family na ako noon, may anak na ako. So kailangan na natin ng extra kita. Naghanap ulit ako ng airline, na uh, uh, multinational airline, global international airline. Kasi alam ko it would offer more opportunities and of course the pay would be higher. And luckily, I got accepted sa Delta Airlines. So that's where I spent 14 years of flying. And then after that, I got the offer of early retirement and then pursued my love for training. So nag-pivot na naman ako into training, the second thing that I love most. Kasi while flying, I also teach it. So nakita ko na, oh, that's something that I want to do. You know how new flight attendants come in, and as a main cabin lead, main cabin lead, parang purser yan ng ng aeroplano. You get to teach the new ones. You get to inspire them. So yung sabi ko, ito yung gusto kong gawin if ever pagkaroon ako ng next career ko. Lo and behold, they offered early retirement. I got it. Nag instructor naman ako sa Cebu Pacific Cebgo, and then ventured into business. And then entered the corporate setting as a training manager. If you can see, yung shift ko iba iba, de ba? From airline industry to business to corporate uh, setting, and then to consultancy, and of course speaking and coaching. This hasn't been an easy ride. I had to do a lot of studying. I had to do a lot of uh, accepting strengths and my weaknesses and working on it. Ganun din yung mangyayari sa inyo when you are on your journey to reinvention. And I'll give you tips on how I was able to survive it and at the same time, I achieve my goal of being what I am right now, a speaker, a trainer, and a coach. So before we dive in, let I'm now going to ask you a question. Could the COVID-19, nakikita niyo ba ang COVID-19, a time or a best time to reinvent yourself? Please type in yes if you feel that yes, it's time to reinvent ourselves. Please type in yes. So yes, Ivy says yes. Arnel says yes here. Hi, mom. My mom is watching. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and of course, definitely, Miss Love says definitely. Yeah, so Tama, I agree with you. It is indeed the best time for us to reinvent. But for those of you who wants to type in no, but as you shy to type in no, okay lang yan because I acknowledge that the effect of COVID-19 is different sa ating lahat. Hindi pare-pareho ang epekto nito sa atin. And I can say that the journey to you to reinvention is in some way a luxury to some. So now that you're here, you're blessed because you have that luxury. So take advantage of it. Tuloy-tuloy na rin natin to gayong nasimula na natin. So what brought you here today? Now, I want you to put your notes down and really reflect on the questions that I will be asking you. Number one, 
what is it that made you turn up to this live webinar today? You can even close your eyes while I ask you this question. Para you take this opportunity to do self-reflection. What areas in your life do you want to reinvent? What are you wanting to level up in your life? What potential do you have but know you're not tapping into? Why is it important for you to be here? Okay, so I would like you to reflect on these questions. Although we won't be having enough time to, to process it, lagay lang natin no, sa isipan natin, bakit ba tayo nandito ngayon? And I'm telling you that now, more than ever, this is really what's important. That with the COVID-19, things are changing really, really quickly. And this is the best time for you to reflect on your life as it is essential in reinventing yourself. Babalik ako sa sinabi ni uh, Greg Lopez, yung actor-comedian, di ba? It's usually the bad times that forces us to innovate, that forces us to reinvent ourselves. Reinventing yourself is possible as long as you're willing to put in the work. This is all going to be useless if you, if you don't take action. So dapat after nito, take action tayo lahat. And I'll be guiding you through it, don't worry. And also, now more than ever, you have to upskill. You have to uplevel yourself to achieve the best version of yourself. And upskilling, upleveling, can be easily done now. We have lots of webinars that, are, uh, uh, that can be found in the internet. So that when you go back to work, June 1, marami sa atin, babalik na sa trabaho, di ba? Yung pag nakita ka ng boss mo, sasabihin, alam mo, parang may nagbago sa'yo. Mas positive looking ka ngayon. Gumanda ka. nag yung aura mo. Di ba? So yun yung gusto natin na, na maging effect sa atin ng COVID. Rather than pagpasok mo, Latang lata ka, pagod na pagod ka. You know, the more you project that, the more you will feel it. And of course, now more than ever, you are in the right place at the right time. Now, please join me. I want everyone to put your hands up. Okay, please put your hands up. I'll be giving you three seconds to do that. Put your hands up. Thank you. And now I want you to put your hands up 20% higher. Okay, so 20% higher pa, guys. Thank you very much. You may now put your hands down. Who among you placed your hands 20% higher when I told you to do so? Meron ba? Okay, so sabi ni Janice, I want to help myself learn how to cope. Okay. Ayan. So si Arnel, meron siyang pinadala, no? Na merong hands up sign. Thank you. So my point here is this. I asked you the first time to put your hands up, right? And you placed it up. Akala nyo yun na yung pinakamataas ninyo na ma-achieve. Ma ma but then I told you to raise it 20% higher and you did. Kaya pala. So that's the mindset that you need when you want to reinvent yourself. Yung inaakala mo na hanggang doon ka lang, meron ka pa palang ibubuga. And I want to be that extra push. I want to be that person who will inspire you, motivate you to uh, a successful reinvention of yourself. So let's dive into the need to reinventing yourself. Why do you need to reinvent yourself? Bakit ba? Ba't kailangan ng reinvention ng sarili? Number one, it allows you to face fear and survive it. If you can see here, that's me. <laughs> and that's my daughter and my husband in nasa likod ko. Every time we rode the uh, roller coaster, ganyan talaga yung itsura ko. Pero yung intensity ng, ng tahot, bumababa eh. Kasi ginagawa mo na siya parate. You already have reinvented yourself, changed your mindset na that's only a two-minute roller coaster ride. Kaya ko yan. So even though I look like this, yung intensity ng takot ko, paonte ng paonte every time we go to theme park and ride roller coaster. So that's what reinvention will do to you. It will allow you to face your fear and survive. 
ano bang ibig sabihin ng fear? Diba? Ang fear, F-E-A-R, if you spell it, it stands for false events appearing real. Di pa siya nangyayari, kinakatakutan mo na siya. So let's get rid of that. And, you know, if you reinvent yourself, you will definitely be able to do so. Number two. Okay. Okay. There's just something wrong with my slides here. Okay. So, going back, 1994 would be, there was a pilot recession. So, I was, um, I was so devastated that time because yun nga, I was just beginning my, my career as a flight attendant and then Meron ako eight month old, di ba, na, na anak gumingiti sa akin. Wala na pala akong trabaho because of the pilot strike and the recession and all that. And then I went to Delta Airlines. I was just beginning my stint there. Nag-hit naman yung 9-11. Tapos 2002, nagka-SARS. 2014, there was the uh, early retirement offer. 2018, there was another wave of a recession, and now COVID. And while I was going through these challenges, what made me successful really is having a self-assessment. Ano ba yung mga kaya ko pang gawin aside from, aside from my dream job of being a flight attendant? Ano yung skills ko? So if you reinvent yourself, it will let you do that. Number two, it lets happiness up and frustration down. Do you agree with me? You know, when you reinvent yourself, yung dopamine hormone, that, that feel-good hormone, will, will come out. Kasi masaya tayo eh. Na may na-accomplish tayo. Na-reinvent natin yung sarili natin. And that's the reason why we have to reinvent ourselves. To let our happiness up and frustration down. Just to give you a clear, a good example. This is uh, Bea Alonzo in one of my favorite uh, movies, One More Chance. Yan, One More Chance. So, dun sa mga millennial, Google niya na lang kung kailan to she know. And, and I encourage you to watch it because it's a good, nice story of self-reinvention. Okay, so this is Bea Alonzo and this is how she looked like after she broke up with Popoy. Popoy was, was uh, her boyfriend that time. They've been together for a long time. However, si, si Basha, yeah, si, si um, Basha wanted to find herself first bago daw sila magpakasal. So it's a very nice story of reinvention. And you know that feeling, yung pagkaga, pagkatas yung magpagupit, yung nararamdaman yung saya, kakaiba, di ba? Yung nararamdaman yung confidence, kakaiba. So yun yung ginagawa ng reinvention sa atin. That's overflowing of dopamine. And we need that. Number three, we need to reinvent because it allows us to have a bigger toolbox of coping and thriving mechanisms. So makikita ninyo ang Pinoy kahit ilang bagyo na ang dinaanan niyan. Ayan, ginagamit ang karitono. Nagre-reinvent sila para makapasok pa rin sa trabaho and all that. Si Manang, although nasa wet market siya, I showed this a while ago, it also gave her, it added to her arsenal. The tools that you'd be having now, yung makukuha niyo ngayon COVID-19, uh, it will strengthen you and it will be in that arsenal, reinvention arsenal, so that when you need it, madali niyo na siyang makuha. Okay? So that's the third benefit of uh, reinventing yourself. What else? It allows you to get a clear understanding of what you want in life from yourself and others. Because pre-COVID, hindi na natin ito naiisip. It's such a fast-paced world na lahat ang na-focus tayo sobrang sa dami ng trabaho, sa dami ng gawain, sa bahay. But now, it gave us a time to really step back, assess ourselves, and understand ano ba talaga yung gusto ko para sa sarili ko? Ano ba yung gusto ko from other people? Because you know, what you want from other people, it has to be clear to you as well. 
Because if they are pulling you down to your journey, to your reinvention, then you have to let go or uh, not necessarily drop, drop it. Pero ibig nang sabihin, pipiliin natin yung mga tao na sumusuporta sa goal natin na mag-reinvent. Okay, so it will give you a clear understanding of what you want in life. This may can even include relationships. Next, it might seem redundant, but it allows you to learn how to reinvent yourself. Once you've done it the first time, it's easier for you to do it the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time. Okay, because to matatandaan ninyo, sinabi ko nga, tuwing may bagyo, tuwing may uno sa ating buhay, yung mga natutunan natin nun, dumadagdag yon sa arsenal natin para i-invent natin yung sarili natin. Okay? So those are the reasons why you have to reinvent yourselves. Okay? So do you have any questions? Just type it in and I'll be glancing through my phone once in a while to see if, you're, if you're, you have any questions or not. Okay, so sabi ni Clarissa, just to share with you, super relate sa major haircut na yan. Ako na lang, ako na lang ulit. Of course, it's my favorite line rin, no? And yes, Francis said yes. Marie said yes. Let's happiness up and frustration down. Okay, so now we move on to kickstarting your reinvention plan. So how do you kickstart your reinvention plan? Think that you're going on a backpacking travel. Ayan. So, ano ba yung difference ng backpacking travel or backpacker sa regular travel? Alam nyo ba yung difference ng dalawa? Okay. Ano yung iniisip natin pag tayo ay nagba-backpack travel? Can you type it in? Sige. Hintayin ko ang inyong mga sagot. Okay. So some of you might say budget, tama. When you are going on a backpack traveling, budget ang pinakauna. So may checklist ka niyan. Unang-una, hanap ka ng pinakamurang pamasahe, tama? Unang-unang murang pamasahe makita mo, book ka na agad dahil baka mo wala. And one of my participants mentioned, binigyan ako ng tip, excuse me lang ha? Sabi niya. Okay. So he gave me a tip. He said, Ma'am, dapat madaling araw ka tumingin. Kasi madaling araw lumalabas lahat ng, ng uh, cheap fares. Okay, so you put that in your checklist, correct? What else do you put there? Hahanap ka rin ang pinakamurang hotel. Yan, tama. Sabi ni Miss Gina, travel light, essentials only. When I don't have money to pay for the extra baggage, ang galing. Tama lahat yan, di ba? Kailangan. Konti lang dalin ko. Side A, side B na lang muna ako. So, ganyan. Linaplano natin. So, that's also what you do when you are reinventing yourself. Linaplano yan. And of course, before you go on a backpack travel, there are uh, essential characteristics that you have to bring in with you. Number one, ano yung unang-una? Pasensya, di ba? Kailangan patient ka. Patient kang maghintay ng murang pamasahe. Patient kang mag-impake. Ano pa? Patient kang tumira sa hindi five-star na hotel as long as mapupuntaan mo lahat ng sites na gusto mo. Now, when you are uh, starting your reinvention plan, it's the same thing. First, you have to make sure that you are resilient. Ito yung mga kailangan ninyo sa checklist ninyo. You have to be resilient. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng resilience? Resilience is being having that ability to bend but not break. Okay, so kung ano man yung challenges na ma- ma- hahara- kakaharapin ninyo, okay, acknowledge it. But then you have to, to come back, bounce back. And uh, come on stronger, come back stronger. Kaya kayo, pagbalik ninyo, June 1 sa inyong trabaho, imbis na pababa yung performance nyo, dapat pataas. Diba? Pakita natin sa ating bosses, pakita natin sa ating 
colleagues what COVID-19 did to us, that we are resilient. And I'm positive that it's going to be easy for us because Filipinos are, are most of us are resilient. Gaya nga nung minention ko kanina, ang dami na natin pinag, nagdaanan, pero andito pa rin tayo, we're still standing. So that's the first thing that you need to have on your checklist on your reinvention plan, resilience. Just to share with you, uh, a person that I admire most when it comes to resilience, it's Mr. John Gokongwe Jr. I worked for the JG Summit Group for a number of years, and I really saw how the employees there, and even Madam Rubina and Sir Lance, really live up to what Mr. John Gokongwe uh, want his business to have as values. So kung may chance kayo, read the book. It lesson, it's, a lessons, it's entitled Lessons from Dad, John Gokongwe Jr. So si Mr. John Gokongwe is, uh, came from a scion of a wealthy family based in Cebu. But at 13 years old, his father died. And uh, siya lang yung naiwan and, and his mom, yung ibang kapatid niya pinabalik sa uh, China kasi nga mas mura ang standard of living doon. And he had to pedal, no, sell candles, peanuts using his bicycle. Kaya may kita nyo, there's another book, The Life Story of John Gokongwe. Kaya yung picture dyan is Mr. John Gokongwe riding a bike. Yan. So if you have time, please read these books. So very good example of a person who's resilient. Now look at where uh, the JG Summit group is now. So very resilient. Now we talk about the next thing that you should have is determination. And, and uh, this is a picture of my daughter. And why did I put her here? Because I want to, everyone to know that just like me, you need not look far kung gusto niyo makakuha ng inspiration when it comes to determination. Kasi my, my daughter wanted to have a scholarship when she was entering college. So, inisip niya, <laughs> ano yung sport yung pwede kong pasukan para makakuha ng scholarship? Eh, gustong-gusto kong pumasok sa eskwelahang ito. So, she tried uh, table tennis, she tried volleyball. Pinasubo ko pa talaga lahat sa kanya para malaman niya kung alin sa sport na yun. Yung gusto niya, yung hilig niya. And then, she chose taekwondo. And, Ang mga kasama niya while she was training, yung mga white belters, ilang taon lang sila. They were like eight, five-year-old kids. Pero, sige, sinubukan pa rin niya. Kahit siya yung pinakamatangkad doon, ilang taon na siya. First year college, yung mga kasama niya, mga malilit lang. But you know what? She was able to succeed and get a scholarship. Talagang sheer patience, determination para maging black belter agad. And hindi madali yun. She wakes up at 5 a.m. Have uh, She has classes pa after that. Gabi na umuwi. Pero since nandun nga yung determination niya, kahit na anong challenges yon, kahit every competition, may mga talo siya, panalo siya. The thing is, she was able to improve herself and became the team captain for two consecutive years of that university. So, so such a very good example of determination. And minsan pag nahihirapan ako, iniisip ko rin lang siya eh. So ganun din kayo. Hindi nyo kailangan rin mag, uh, maghanap ng celebrity. Kasi minsan, the person that's beside us can be an inspiration. Okay, so again, that's determination. Next, you have to get support. When you are on your journey towards reinvention, you have to get support. Get support from your family, from your friends. Or if you are pursuing a, uh, a certain hobby, join an organization or an FB page that supports your goal. So in my case, marami akong sinalihan sina ano, and got support from different people here uh, in my consultancy, image consultancy, that's AICI. For my coaching uh, profession, that would be the coaching Team Transform Destiny team in the U.S. So sila yung mga kasama ko dyan. For my public speaking would be Arriva Academy and of course for my consultancy pack. So get support from a lot of people and also get mentors. 
Yan. Huwag kayong mahihiya. Be humble enough to accept what you don't know and have that confidence to show what you know. Next is create a new self-image. And I'm not talking about physical uh, image lang dito. More pa mindset. Huwag niyo isipin na lagi, hindi ko kaya kasi ganito lang ako. Hindi ko kaya kasi ganito. Kailangan ganito ka para ma-achieve mo yan. No. You have to change that mindset and create a new self-image. Very good example would be Yorme. We all know Yorme. Di ba? Ba- paano siya nagsimula? From, be- from living in the poor slums of Tondo. Ayan, nalakilala naman natin siya. Ano na siya ngayon? Di siya nakatapos. But now, he graduated from PLM and also enrolled uh, in different schools in the United States like Harvard, Oxford for online courses and he got certificates there as well. Ayan. Ito na, sasabihin ko na sa inyo na, that it's not also going to be a walk in the park. There would be challenges that you will be facing. Number one, <laughs> tinatanong ko to no, sa mga coaches ko, so bakit ba hindi ka makapag-reinvent ito mga sagot nila? Eh kasi wala akong pera. Eh kasi para ma- makasali ako dyan or para ma-hone ko yung skills ko dyan, pag, pag, ma- para ma-hone ko yung skills ko dyan, kailangan may pera ako. Ano pa? Magagawa ko lang to kung may pera ako. Next would be business pattern. Lagi ka nalang busy. Wala ka ng panahon. Tawagin na, tawagan ng mahal mo sa buhay kahit na quarantine pa, di ba? Anong linya mo? I'm so busy. I don't have enough time to call you. Ang dami nating reasons. And next would be, you fall into that trap, yung blame pattern. Lahat na lang ng tao may kasalanan except you kung bakit hindi ka nakaka-reinvent. Oh, I don't have internet. That's why I wasn't able to exercise. I can't borrow money. That's why I can start my business. So stop living or uh, falling into that trap and uh, blaming others for your successes especially when you're on your journey to reinvention. You are the cause of what's happening to your life. You are the cause. So not the effect of something. And you have to bear that in mind. Okay? Next would be procrastination. Another challenge that you'll be facing. This can wait. Let me think about this tomorrow. Yan ang mga challenges. And of course, delusion. Ito yung pinaka mahirap na phrase eh. I'm working on it. This is really one of the barriers to reinvention kasi it's giving you a license na ah, okay lang, di mo na ako reinvent but I'm working on it. I'm trying to quit smoking eh, but I'm working on it. It's, it gives us a license kasi not to start reinventing ourselves. Okay, so bibilisan lang natin. Nine steps to reinventing yourself. You can either choose from changing from outside in or inside out. If you choose outside in, that's okay. Diba? Gusto magbago ng image, gusto magbago ng wardrobe para ang dating mo more confident, more professional, we can do that. Mas madali kasi you can just buy clothes, but of course, make sure na yung mga kulay ibagay sa yun. <laughs> but it's easier than, than reinventing from inside out. Because when you reinvent inside out, it's the mindset that's uh, going to change. Now, the first step to reinvention is focusing on what you want. Okay? You cannot start your reinvention and then be vague about where you want to go or what areas in your life yung gusto mong i-reinvent. Now, for me, I want you to, I want you to be guided through this kasi mahirap din ma-, ma magkaroon ng focus eh, sa gusto natin. So, join me in this uh, NLP visualization technique. This is called focusing on what you want. Okay. May I please ask everyone to uh, close your eyes, please? I'd like to invite everyone to close your eyes. Are you still with me? Can you please type in yes if you're still with me? Type in yes, please, if you're still with me. Okay. So in this visualization technique, I need you to close your eyes. 
and answer this question. What would you like to happen? Okay, yun ang unang-unang panungin natin sa sarili natin. What would you like to happen? Again, you can close your eyes. And as you answer this, you have to create a picture in your mind that it is really happening. Whether it be an online business that you want to start, whether it be a skill that you want to be, to develop, whatever it is, no matter how silly or sa tingin niyo mababaw, okay lang yan if that's the area in your life that you want to reinvent. So create a picture in your mind. Now, I want you to see what you saw, hear what you heard, and feel what you felt. Isipin ninyo yung sinasabi ng family ninyo, friends ninyo, sa'yo na they're congratulating you with that new business. They're congratulating you because you're more positive now. They're congratulating you because you're emitting that different kind of aura of positivity. Nagbago ka. You became a better version of yourself. Okay, so feel everything. Don't rush into this. I really want you to be there. Now, may I invite everyone to please open your eyes. Okay, how did you feel while, do, while doing that visualization? You know, we, I can guide you through this. It's just that we're, we're, uh, we don't have enough time. But then what I want you to remember is you can do that again while you are doing that. You can also write it down. Kung ano nakikita ninyo, nararamdaman ninyo, na-notice ninyo, sulat nyo lang lahat yan. And then make that visible para mare-remind kayo kung ano yung gusto nyong mangyari sa inyo during your reinvention. Okay, so you can use this uh, visualization technique as you wish, but if you want me to guide you through it, I'm just a uh, message away. Next would be find out what your strengths are. Are you creative? Are you a team player? Are you street smart? Are you hardworking? And then anchor it from there. Mas madali kasi mag-reinvent pag alam mo yung strength mo eh. Kasi they, you might want to reinvent yourself but you don't have that, that uh, skill or that strength yet. Yet. Pwede rin natin baguhin yun. Pero pag gusto natin ma-fast track, syempre, ipofocus natin yung dun sa mga kaya natin gawin. And never doon sa weaknesses natin. Yes, we acknowledge our weaknesses it makes us stronger and it helps us achieve our goal. Pero more than anything, dapat alam natin ang kakayahan natin. Number three, you have to plan. Specifically plan. So make it a smart goal. Make sure that it's specific. I want to earn, by the end of the month, I want to earn 50,000 pesos in this online business that I will be starting. It has to be measurable. Malalaman kung successful ako pag ganito na yung sales ko, then if the week, ganitong, ganitong karaming empanada na, ganitong karaming spaghetti na, or whatever it is that you're selling. It has to be achievable. Wag naman yung kailangan maka 1 million ako ngayong buwan. That's not, achieve, uh, that's not achievable. Kung, kung, sa ting, kung halimbawa, for example, you're, you're selling lumpia Shanghai, or, or empanada, or yung uh, maliliit na bagay lang. Achieving 1 million naman in a month or in a week is not that achievable. So make it achievable and reasonable. Next would be, it has to be realistic. It is, is it relevant to your life? Kaya ko ba tong gawin? May trabaho na ako. Meron pa akong sideline. And next, it has to be timely. Okay? Number four, you have to be courageous. Courageous just like Mr. Injapsia. See, Mr. Injapsia is the youngest billionaire in the Philippines. Siya yung mayari ng mga inasal. And he was at age 23, he was very courageous in uh, going into business. Ba? Going into business, in-offer nga daw sa kanya ang isang spot sa mall. Hindi pa niya alam kung anong negosyo itatayo niya, niya doon. But somehow, meron siyang gut feel na maganda yung space na yun. 
Sabi niya, kukunin ko to Anyway, I want to venture into business. And then he planned right away kung anong pwedeng magandang business. Eh, yun nga yung Mang Inasal. And look where Mang Inasal is na- right now. And also, Mr. Injapsia. Jollibee bought Mang Inasal. And now, yun nga, si Mr. Injapsia is the youngest billionaire in the Philippines. So be courageous. <coughs> Next, don't be afraid to th- try things out. This is a friend of mine. He's, her name is Zara Juan. And he's a shoe and bag designer and internationally recognized as well. Ito yung mga shoes na ginagawa niya. Interview ko siya before my talk and, he, and she said that, uh, you know, Suzette, I did not know exactly what I want. Hindi ko alam ko ano yung gusto ko, pero sure ako, kailangan ko mag-shift. And relax ako sa pagiging entrepreneur. So sinubukan niya, marami ho siyang sinubukan bago siya, bago siya nag-focus sa shoe and bag design niya. But then I want that her message be be uh, spread to a lot of people na kahit hindi ka pa sure, then you try things out. Nagbenta nga ako, guys, ng empanada nung nawalan ako ng work eh. Kaya nabanggit ko rin siya, di ba? Nawalan ako ng work as a flight attendant apart from being a medical representative. Sinubukan ko rin gumawa ng empanada, magbenta, di ba? Yan. So try things out. Next, build your network. Same as getting support. Build your net- network and while you are doing this, don't forget, of course, your family. Next would be be hungry for knowledge. Never stop learning. Kahit nasaan man na kayong estado ngayon sa inyong professional life. Okay? Be hungry for, for knowledge. Enroll in online courses that it can help you improve your skill or go uh, develop that hobby that you want for, for, for a long time already to learn. Ano pa? Ano mga pwede? Magbasa tayo, ho? Huh? Gaya nga ng friend ko, si Mr. Javilia Ruel, CEO naman siya ng Bayong Shaga. He used to be a flight attendant as well and a party host. O, oh, kalain ninyo. Ngayon, meron na siyang sarili niyang negosyo. Sabi niya, he did a lot of reading and research about other entrepreneurs for inspiration. So, be curious, be hungry for knowledge. And of course, this is me. I want to be a successful coach, but I don't want to wing it. Gusto kong matutunan paano ba yung tamang paraan Paano ba ako tama maka-motivate ng tao? So I enrolled and attended an on-site uh, course on neuro-linguistic programming. And of course, step number eight, accept your failure, learn and pivot. And a very good example of pivoting here is when you're playing basketball. Diba? Para ba basketball tayo, you only ha- you're only allowed two steps on your second step dapat hindi dapat uh, i-shift mo yung bola pero hindi mo hindi ka na pwedeng gumawa pa ng isang step but then you are allowed to shift to move so that's what we're we're, we're in a, that's the situation that we're in right now diba naka quarantine tayo but that shouldn't stop us from from exploring other things that we can do in order to upscale up level ourselves to reinvent ourselves we need to pivot we try, we learn. Okay, so that's a very good example of pivoting. A very good example would be Nokia. Sino ba sa atin noon na nagkaroon ng Nokia phone? Okay? Sige nga, type nyo. Anong Nokia phone meron kayo noon? Nokia was at the top of their game during the 90s, di ba? Parang pag wala kang, kang Nokia noon, parang left out ka. So lahat tayo nagkaroon ng Nokia, sino bang nag-aakala na mawawala ang Nokia ng ganun-ganun na lang? Okay, so anong Nokia phone meron kayo? 5110, 3210, lahat na ng 10s nagkaroon tayo. But what happened guys to Nokia? Binili sila ng Microsoft and this is the story, this is this the picture of Stephen Elo. He was the CEO of Nokia at that time and he was crying. This was the time that Microsoft was buying them. Sabi niya, we didn't do anything wrong. But somehow, we lost. Natalo kami. Hindi kami nag-reinvent. Hindi kami nag-innovate. Hinayaan lang namin. Nag-enjoy kami. Kasi we are at the top of our game. Eh. Habang ang Samsung, ang Apple, nagtratrabaho, nag-innovate, nag-pivot, nag-reinvent ng sarili nila. 
Okay, so that's step number eight. And for the last step, you have to remind yourself of your commitment. And how do you do that? Let me share with you this, uh, <coughs> this technique also I learned from neuro-linguistic programming on how you would remind yourself effectively about your commitment. This is how you should put it. So you can take a screenshot of it. It says here, it is now, for example, June 1, okay? So it is now June 1, and I want to be more assertive. I can hear my boss telling me how he likes me being assertive because I'm able to influence my members more, team members more. And I achieve this because of the support from a lot of people. I feel more determined. I feel more happy that I was able to improve and upscale myself. So this is just an example. You can also use other examples depending on what you want yourself to commit into. Ano yung gusto mong i-reinvent sa sarili mo? There's another example here on the slide and you can use that as well okay clear on the nine steps if you have any questions let me know i like so clarissa said i like this commitment part Ms. Suzette. yes it's really very helpful and mind you when you do this it has to be future paced dapat nangyayari na siya okay and yung date hindi dapat yung ngayon but yung future kailan mo siya nakikita na Na nangyayari. Okay? So it has to be future paced. And uh, no negative words here. Only positive words. So you will be feel motivated. Okay? Now, for you to be able to grow, go through this with ease, I'll be sharing with you a 30-day reinvention challenge. Again, reinvention, ladies and gentlemen, it is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. Pinagtatrabahuan talaga yan. So let me share with you this worksheet. It's a 30-day reinvention challenge. It's easy as uh, thinking of two areas in your life that you want to reinvent. What's the two areas in your life that you want to reinvent? So I placed here, for example, you want to work on improving uh, or having financial freedom, for example. Or you might want to hone skills, speaking skills, hone your speaking skills. Isusulat mo yan dyan. And not, please do not be limited to that. It can be an emotion. Okay? You don't want to be stressed. You don't want to be anxious. Pwede natin ilagay yan dyan. So you write those two areas in your life that you want to focus on. And then you write the date. When do you see this happening? Ano yung mga sitwasyon kung saan masusuportahan niya yung reinvention na plinaplano mo? So let's say, on June 1, merong nag-invite sa inyo na certified fund manager or relationship manager, nagbigay ng invitation sa inyo just for you to explore, for example, mutual funds. Dahil gusto mo ang maging financially free, you want to achieve that financial freedom, Bibigyan ko nga ito ng chance. Okay? So, lalagay mo dyan, June 1, accept Mr. Fernandez uh, invite, a meeting invite. And then, after that, pag nagawa niyo yun, just check complete on the box, on the rightmost side, completed. Okay, ito naman. On June 2, I want to hone my skills naman in speaking. Meron kami virtual meeting. Hindi na ako pwedeng tatahimik. Kailangan sabihin ko na yung ideas ko. So on June 2, I'll make that move. So you put that there. What's the context? Speak up during virtual meeting. And then if you complete it, check nyo ulit siya. Now, the most important thing here is you have to be accountable. And para maging accountable kayo, kinikwento nyo to sa kaibigan nyo, colleague nyo, para sila yung mag-monitor sa inyo if you're doing it or not. Mahirap kasi, di ba, pag tayo lang. So be accountable with this challenge. Share it with someone so that he or she can give feedback. And also, reward yourself. Don't forget to reward yourself. Ano ba sa tingin nyo? Kayo ba nare-reward? 
pag nami-measure nyo yung natapos ninyo, then you can do so. Put timelines. Uh, for example, in a week's time, I should be able to do this. Dapat 100 ako dito, 100%. Na-complete ko dapat lahat. Pag na-complete mo yun, reward mo yung sarili mo. Pag mahilig ka naman um, celebrating small wins kahit every day. Okay, pag nagawa ko to, treat ko yung sarili ko na uh, coffee or whatever it is that you want to treat yourself with. Okay, so ganun lang natin siya gagawa. So we will write down a list of the first steps that we will need in order for, in order for us to get to where we want to go. Okay, so importante ito sa atin. And when you complete it, put a check mark on it. Okay, do a screenshot of this 30-day 30, 30 challenge before I share with you the emotional freedom technique that I'm talking about early on the uh, webinar that will help you relieve your stress, anxiety while going through this reinvention challenge. Are you ready? Can you please type in a yes when you're ready, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. I just want to make sure that everyone's ready before I begin sharing with you this emotional freedom technique. Okay, Mitra says yes, we're ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving some time for others to, to um, say that they're ready. Kasi kailangan talaga focus tayo. Yan, Jake says he is. Okay. So what I'm going to share with you is what we call the basic recipe. It is an emotional freedom technique, meaning as you go on through your reinvention journey, you will feel a lot of uh, stresses, what else? Uh, challenges, people putting you down, people not supporting you. So as a result, you have fears of even starting it. Wag na lang, baka, baka a waste of time lang yan. Eh. Okay, so I will help you get rid of that feeling. Again, this is also applicable to get rid of any physical and emotional pain that you're experiencing. Masakit ang ulo mo, pwede rin naman ito. But for now, we are going to focus on reinventing ourselves and how this technique can help us. So there are three rounds in this basic recipe emotional freedom technique. The first round is a setup round which is what we call the karate chop, which I will be explaining to you later on. The second round would be the sequence round, tapping out of the negative. And the third round would be the suggestion round or tapping in the positive. I want you to raise your hand and locate that karate chop point. Ano ba yung karate chop point? Imagine nyo, pag meron kayong uh, kinakarate, let's say for example, kahoy, no? If you are doing a karate chop, ano yung ginagamit niyo, di ba? That the soft part here, that's your karate chop point, okay? So if you feel it, yung malambot na part, that's it. Now tap that karate chop point three times. You can do it on your right hand. You can also do it on your left hand. And since this is a set up round, while doing that, you need to say. What's bothering you? Ano ba yung challenge mo? Is it stress? Anxiety? Is it the motivation of starting your reinvention plan? Sasabihin mo yun ngayon. So, andyan yung line. Even though I'm feeling demotivated in pushing through with my online business, for example, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay? So, pag lumambas kayo ng three, okay lang naman yun. So, do that several times. So, even though I'm feeling demotivated in pushing through my online business, I deeply and completely accept myself. Do that again on the next hand if you prefer doing it on your left hand. Okay? Now, we go on to the uh, sequence round. The sequence round is very important because apart from the karate chop point, there are a lot of other energy points that we need to tap. Before we tap each one of them, while doing the karate chop point, isipin ninyo yung scale, yung gravity nung nararamdaman nyo on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being, it's not, it's uh, bothering you big time. 
10 being it's not bother, bothering you at all. So 1 to 10 ha. So let's say, yung sample nga natin, demotivated ka kasi hindi mo masimulan yung business mo. Sobrang demotivated ka, hindi mo masimulan. Then that's a 10. So it's very important for us to scale it because we will be using that in order for us to know whether the emotional freedom technique is working for us or not. The key here, ladies and gentlemen, is persistence. Uulitin mo siya hanggat bumaba ng bumaba yung impact ng negative emotion na yon, or whatever it is that you're experiencing. So let me introduce to you the tapping points, emotional freedom tapping points. Let's start with the top of the head. So yan ang pinakaunang tapping point, top of the head, and then we have the eyebrows, we have the side of the eye, we have under the eye, under the nose, we have also sa chin, we have sa collarbone, and we have under arm as well. Okay, so let's do that now. Alam na natin kung yung mga tapping points natin. What we have to do is tap it three times, those tapping points three times, and since we are doing the sequence, we have to input it. Para rin computer kasi ang energy system eh. Input mo, what's, input mo what's bothering you. Okay, so let's start. This feeling of demotivation of not continuing my online business. Okay, we start here. This feeling of demotivation of not continuing my online business. That's the second one. This feeling of demotivation of not continuing my online business. Okay, now we go here. This feeling of demotivation of not continuing my online business. Okay. And then here, this feeling of demotivation of not continuing my online business. And to the collarbone, this feeling of demotivation of not continuing my online business. And this feeling of demotivation of not continuing my online business. Is everyone following? Okay, now again, the key here is persistence. Pag sa tingin ninyo, hindi pa nag-improve, then do it again. And we are not strict here on how many times you want to tap the, the energy points. Okay, clear? So we're done with the sequence. It's the second round. Now we go to the last round, which is tapping in the negative. This is a very important part kasi ito yung gusto natin ma-remember ng subconscious natin. It's the suggestion part. Doing what we did in the sequence part, but this time focusing on what we want to happen. Ready? Okay, ready? Let's do it. This demotivating feeling is turning into a feeling of determination. Okay? If you want to make it shorter, make it shorter. Demotivating is now turning into determination. Demotivation is now turning into a feeling of determination. Okay, the motivating is now turning into determination. So you can do that. Make sure that you're tapping it, tapping all the EFT points. Okay, and now we're here under the nose. This demotivating feeling is turning to a feeling of de determination. And then their collarbone. This demotivating feeling is turning to a feeling of determination. And last but not the least, this demotivating feeling is turning into a feeling of determination. Again, <coughs> you can do this several times. That's why it's important for, for you to know the scale. And also, this is applicable also when you're feeling uh, stressed, anxious, or when you have a migraine. Um, any physical and emotional pain, applicable ito. Okay, so if you want to do it one more time and you want me to guide you through it, just let me know. So this is the end of my slide and I want you to remember one thing. You have to get simple. You have to focus on what matters most and that is yourself. So make sure that...
share with us some few words before we end our webinar. Hi, thank you, Suset, for thank opening you our minds. I was, kala ko mahuli niyo kaya I was doing the tapping. <laughs> the That's tapping. really thank very you. effective. And you know yes. what, Miss Love, you you don't even have to spend so many minutes doing mm. that. Three minutes, mm -hmm. five minutes, kaya yun eh. Basta alam mo, sakit ng ulo. Or the longer, or, or the yeah. bigger the stress, the longer, siguro the tapping. Yeah, <laughs> you can do that as yeah, well. But uh, ang, ang, ang recommendation ka lang, not to do it in front of other people. <laughs> Kasi or minsan pag Pag ginagawa mo yun, sabihin, ano nangyayari sa'yo, di ba? Yeah, oh, yeah, or not do it in front of the person who's giving you stress. Tama, um, wow, tama. But thank you, thank you for opening our minds. That yes, that, yeah, we can invent ourselves even during the quarantine. We can creatively do it. And we'd like to thank you for this opportunity. Now, we get to find tune din naman ourselves. Kasi it's so easy to get lost in the doom and gloom. But this session has definitely given us a different perspective, ika nga. Thank you so, also, yeah. Ms. Love. And Thank you. I Thank you for wish joining. that everyone that will be able to mm -hmm. to uh, put into action whatever it is yes. that we learn this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, maraming and, salamat. Yes, and thank you, power thank you, thank you family. very much. And to all the viewers who stay tuned until the very end, thank you po. Happy weekend. Yes, happy weekend, weekend, everyone. To thank you. become a better person. Thank you. Thank you.